Chapter 2171 When the detection dogs passed by Willow, Honey's heart was in her throat. She pressed her thumping heart, but the dogs did not stop by Willow's side and went straight past her. The police continued to check the rooms of the entire building with the dogs. After searching for a while, they found nothing. In other words, it was just a misunderstanding. Someone had mistakenly seen another person taking drugs. An obvious smile appeared on Director Webb's face. Who's playing such a big prank? They actually called the police. Police officers, we're all good citizens. It's impossible for us to do such a thing. Don't worry. Also, reporters, as you can see, there's really nothing illegal going on here. You should report it truthfully. One of the paparazzi said, it's true that nothing was found here, but maybe someone is hiding the drugs. Our detection dogs are the best, so that's simply not possible, a police officer said. The paparazzo said something wrong and was too embarrassed to continue. Willow said indifferently, I remember that we can get our blood drawn or use our hair to verify it at the event location, right? If the person has taken drugs in the past half a year, it can be traced. Yes, that's true, the policeman said. Someone called the police, reporters, and paparazzi today. If word gets out, it'll be too harmful to our entire production team and our work. Those who don't know will think that we really did such a thing. Why don't we all investigate it so that others will know that we're not that kind of people? It'll also make us determined not to carry these burdens in life, right? Willow said. All the members of the production team began to nod. I think it makes sense too. This matter has blown up so much. Will we still be able to take on any roles in the future? If word gets out, they'll really think that we're involved. Since the police are already here, test us to prove our innocence. Everyone felt that it made sense. Fortunately, she had already finished filming and was not busy these few days. Artists were most afraid of having a problem with their reputation. They had to get their innocence. Director Webb also stood up and said, I think everyone is right. We can't bear this ambiguous reputation. Since we haven't found out the truth about the drug case, let's clear everyone's name. It'll be easier for the reporters and paparazzi to report the news then, right? Okay, let's do it at the event location, the policeman said. Nowadays, technology was advanced. As long as one had equipment, anyone could be tested at any time. The police remembered that before they left, their boss had reminded them to bring the equipment to the event location. It was really the right decision. They just didn't know why their boss could predict things so well. Joshua glanced at Willow and nodded gently, indicating that she was in control. Her reputation could not be slandered. Since Willow wanted to seek innocence, she could not blame her for what happened next. There were many police officers here today, so the tests were quickly carried out. Soon, the results were out. Everyone who was tested was fine. Only Willow's results were left. Willow stood in front of them and got her blood drawn. She also provided hair follicles as requested and waited for the results. Honey grabbed Drake's hand tightly. Drake patted the back of her hand. It's okay. It'll definitely be okay. Willow won't do anything stupid. You know that she was slandered back then, so it's even more impossible for her to get into this mess now. I'm just a little worried about my sister. She's been drinking for a while. I'm just afraid. How is that possible? You're thinking too much. Drake stopped her. Honey did not say anything else and focused on waiting for Willow's results. She stared at Willow without blinking. Everyone else was also staring intently at Willow. After all, everything that happened today was because of her. Everyone more or less carried some resentment toward her. In addition, they had seen the trending searches and knew her current situation. They were afraid that she would affect the movie that they had worked so hard to film. They all muttered in their hearts, and the way they looked at Willow did not seem so friendly. Director Webb was also very nervous. Although he didn't believe that Willow would do such a thing, there were many things in the industry that were hard to say. If the entire movie went wrong because of her alone, who could he reason with? Willow, Director Webb looked at Willow and hesitated. Director Webb, please get straight to the point. 
Director Webb thought for a moment and said firmly, it's nothing. Don't worry, I believe you. He was still inclined to believe in his sixth sense. What could be wrong with someone his daughter liked? Willow smiled slightly and silently said, thank you. The police received Willow's results and walked over. Everyone looked up. How is it? Director Webb asked anxiously. There's nothing wrong. Willow hasn't touched drugs. Everyone around heaved a sigh of relief. However, after everyone got tested, the results were very different from what they had imagined. Director Webb smiled. Then everything tonight was a mistake. Yes, I'm sorry for wasting your time, but we're also just thinking about the safety of the public. Please understand. I understand. You're doing this as part of your job and to protect our safety, Director Webb said with a smile. Honey accidentally grabbed Drake hard. What's wrong? Drake was originally happy for Willow when she suddenly grabbed him. He hurriedly looked down at her. Seeing that she did not look too good, he quickly asked with concern. I'm fine. Maybe it's a little late and I'm a little sleepy, so I almost fell, Honey said, hiding her disappointment. Could it be that Maria came here but did not do anything? Then who called the reporters? Who posted the articles? Who called the police? Then let's go and rest first. Fortunately, everything here is over. Let's wait and see. I don't want sister to be alone here, Honey said gently. Drake also wanted to see if there was any follow-up. When he heard her words, he did not object. The police gave the results of the test and were about to leave. Chapter 2172 Suddenly, someone among the reporters raised a question. Everything's fine this time, so it's a desirable result. But Willow, can you explain the matter of you taking drugs five years ago? There were many reports at that time, but you never took them seriously and left the industry. Do you think it doesn't matter anymore since you've given up your habit of taking drugs? Or could it be that you just haven't taken any drugs during this period of time, so no drugs were detected in your system? Hearing this, the crew members who had originally planned to go to bed were no longer sleepy. They all pricked up their ears. Director Webb pointed at the reporter and said, which company are you from? You're going a little overboard here. Nothing happened tonight, so why are you still harping on about what happened a few years ago? I'm just trying to seek an explanation for the fans and audience. Willow won't refuse to answer the question that everyone wants to know, right? Why did she leave the industry a few years ago? Wasn't it precisely because she was addicted to drugs that she had no choice but to leave the industry? Has she really recovered from her addiction? Why did she make a comeback? Shouldn't she give everyone an explanation to convince them first? This reporter's words were very sharp. Every sentence hit the nail on the head. The reporter seemed to be pushing Willow into a dead end, but every sentence of his seemed well-founded. If Willow did not answer, her silence would be taken as an agreement, confirming what the reporter had just said. Honey stood up straight and looked over seriously. Drake was a little worried. The others also looked at Willow. Even the police officers who were about to leave stood still and did not leave immediately. Director Webb looked at Willow anxiously. Willow, why don't you go back first and I'll deal with it? Thank you, Director Webb, but I'll handle today's matter. Willow stood up. Facing the aggressive reporter, her calm expression was a stark contrast to that person's. She said calmly and gently, I've been looking for an opportunity to explain what happened five years ago, but I never had the chance to say it before. Coincidentally, there are so many relevant people here tonight, so I'll take this opportunity to tell everyone the truth. Hearing that she was about to speak on the matter, everyone looked expectant. Joshua looked up indifferently. When he looked at Willow, his eyes were deep. More than five years ago, I was photographed taking drugs. During the same period of time, I was especially thin. After that, there were rumors that I was addicted to drugs. But in fact, I never did such a thing. I was photographed that way because I was preparing for a new movie at that time. My character did drugs, so I had to imitate the action of taking drugs. I was as thin as a match too. It was the effect of me losing 20 kilograms for that movie. 
Hearing her words, the heartache in Joshua's eyes grew as he looked at her gently. The others looked at each other. The reporter immediately asked, so, what happened to the movie? The director of this movie at that time was superb. But before he could sign a contract with me and film it, he was hospitalized with Alzheimer's. He's still in the hospital for treatment, so there's no finished product. The reporter sneered and said, do you really think you can get away with it just because you made up a story? You said the movie hasn't been filmed, so who can prove it? You're really funny. You're using the name of a director who's currently in the hospital to clear your name. Besides, that director is an internationally renowned director. Do you think you can scam him like this? Do you have evidence to show that he wanted you to act in his movie? Willow said calmly, I don't have any evidence, because director Simpson is the kind of person who doesn't like revealing details of the preparations to outsiders. In fact, many of our chats were in person, so I don't have any text records. However, the truth is the truth. I can call Howard Hopkins, the assistant director director Simpson relied on the most at that time, and ask him to give a testimony. With that, Willow called Howard directly. The call went through, and Howard's voice came from the other end. Willow. Why are you looking for me? Director Hopkins, I want you to help me prove to everyone that director Simpson was supposed to film a movie with a character that was a druggie back then, and he wanted me to play it. Because of this, I became as thin as a match after losing weight and imitated the actions of taking drugs. However, I was photographed by reporters. Now that director Simpson is sick and hospitalized, he can't talk about what happened back then. As his most trusted assistant, you know all these things. When I met up with director Simpson back then, you were also present several times. Please tell your side of the story to the reporters so that I can clear my name. Director Hopkins had also become a very famous director. After director Simpson fell sick, he released one famous work after the other. He was about to replace director Simpson in the industry. As long as he was willing to speak, people would definitely believe him. Seeing that Willow could actually get Howard to speak up for her, everyone believed her a little. Howard's voice came from the other end of the line. Well, Willow, what's the use of telling me this? I can't prove anything. I'm not very familiar with you. Willow pressed the speaker button, so everyone heard the other party's words. Everyone was in an uproar. Since Howard said so, was Willow really lying? Willow's expression did not change, and she was still calm. Director Hopkins, are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. I've worked for Director Simpson before, but I don't know about the things you're talking about at all. If you want to clarify, I suggest you get some other evidence. I really can't help you prove this. After saying that, Howard hung up. Everyone looked at Willow with suspicion, disdain, and disgust. What else do you have to say? The reporters had the upper hand, and their attitudes were even more arrogant now. I have some things to say. Following this male voice, everyone turned around and saw Drake standing up. He was elegant and gave people a good impression. I know about Willow's previous contact with director Simpson. At that time, in order to deal with the doubts of the outside world, I even accompanied her to the police station for a checkup. At that time, we received a special report that can prove that she didn't take drugs at all. Seeing that he actually stood up and spoke up for Willow, Honey couldn't help but pinch her palm. However, she knew in her heart that even if Drake spoke up for Willow, it would be useless. Chapter 2173. Sure enough, a reporter asked, Sir, may I ask where your evidence is? Where's the report from back then? I lost it, Drake said. Ha 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 ha, do you think you can fool everyone by saying that you lost it? What's the use of saying such things? The reporter said in amusement. What I want to say is that what happened a few years ago isn't that important at all. Besides, isn't it enough for me to be a witness and say that Willow didn't do it? Brother Drake. Honey walked to his side and held his hand. Stop talking. Even if you say it again, they won't believe you. But please believe Willow. Willow really didn't do anything like taking drugs. Many people can testify to this. Please believe me. Her magnanimity touched Drake. 
It also made the others in the production team change their opinion of her. It turned out that she was so kind. Please stop your interrogation. Willow said she didn't do it, so she didn't do it. Honey said firmly. Willow couldn't help but laugh when she saw her performance. She said calmly, didn't you ask for evidence? The evidence is here. She reached into her bag and took out some document copies. She handed them to the people standing at the front, including the reporter. The reporter took a copy and flipped through it. His expression changed. W what? It's actually the examination report from a few years ago. You can take it to verify. This is the examination report from back then. Willow said calmly. Honey's expression changed drastically. She took a copy and started flipping through it as well. It was actually true. It was the report from previous years. Hadn't she already destroyed the report using a shredder? She had also gotten a hacker to hack the police records. Why did Willow still have the document? She suddenly looked up at Willow. Willow's eyes were very calm, but her aura was very oppressive, making Honey feel shocked. What, the reporter who was about to speak was at a loss for words. This was the examination report issued by the police at that time. It was unquestionable. Even without Director Simpson and Drake's testimony, this report was enough to prove Willow's innocence back then. But why didn't Willow take it out earlier? Have you seen it clearly? Do you need me to go to the police to help you verify the authenticity of this report? Willow asked lazily. And no need. The reporter knew the severity of the matter and did not dare to say anything else. Willow raised her eyes and looked around at everyone. Since the police's on-the-spot examination has proven my innocence this time and the previous report has also cleared my name regarding the incident five years ago, I hope everyone present can knit the rumors here and not mention such things again. Thank you, everyone. Although the reporters and paparazzi did not get the information they wanted to get, being able to get the evidence to clarify Willow's name made up for it. It was not a wasted trip. At this point, the matter was finally settled tonight. Drake walked toward Willow. Willow, why do you still have the report from a few years ago? Didn't you? Honey was the one who lost it back then, no. A cold smile appeared on Willow's lips. Back then, I did an examination and the police confirmed my innocence. You took the examination report and said that you wanted to find an opportunity to help me clarify it as soon as possible. Then, you sent me overseas to shoot an advertisement and I left for a month. After that, you lost the examination report. When I came back, the matter had yet to be clarified. Instead, the situation became a lot worse. At that time, I went to do the examination report again, but it had been too late to prove anything. Naturally, I couldn't explain it to the public. Coupled with what happened after that. After that, there was the matter of her pregnancy. A series of things happened at the same time, and she was unable to explain herself. In order to give birth, she had no choice but to leave the industry for the time being. At that time, the outside world thought that she left the industry because of the drug issue. It was just that there was no concrete evidence. This time, someone dug up all the information from the past and caused a commotion in the city again. However, what they did not know was that Willow had already restored the original police file that the hacker had erased. Even if no one had dug up this matter this time, Willow would still have released the real report and cleared her name. It would have just been a matter of time. Drake looked at her expression and said in a low voice, it's good that you managed to clarify things now. Honey didn't intentionally lose the report. She has always felt guilty about it. She didn't deliberately send you out to shoot the advertisement either. What happened back then was just a coincidence, so don't blame her. Coincidence. Perhaps only you would believe such a coincidence. No one else would believe what Honey said. You can't be so unreasonable. Honey has your best interest at heart. She even stood up for you just now. She stood up for me because she knew that no one would believe anything else she said. Everyone will stand on the side of evidence, don't you understand? Drake was a little helpless. Willow, you don't have to explain anything anymore. Just choose what you believe. I don't care. Sister. Honey looked at her aggrievedly. I really didn't. 
There's no need to say any more. It's fine as long as the two of you believe in each other. The rest has nothing to do with me. Willow. Drake wanted to explain again. Willow. Joshua walked over. Facing his aura, Drake and Honey automatically shut up. Mr. Miller, you haven't left yet. Drake asked. Are you okay? Joshua looked at Willow and did not respond to Drake at all. Drake felt the humiliation of being ignored, but he could not do anything. Mr. Miller, I'll send you downstairs, Willow said. She still had something to do. Okay. Joshua nodded and left with Willow. Honey bit her lip. Willow sure was a vixen. She could actually stay by Joshua's side. Forget it, honey. Willow has suffered for so many years. It's fine to be criticized by her a little, Drake comforted her. I really didn't mean to lose the document back then. I didn't expect the police to not have a backup copy. Otherwise, they would have definitely clarified things for sister. Brother Drake, you know me. Yes, I do. Don't be sad. Willow and Joshua went downstairs together. The police had already packed their things and were going downstairs with the detection dogs as well. Chapter 2174 When they got downstairs, Willow said, Mr. Miller, do you want another cup of coffee? Sure, Joshua replied and walked into the spacious lounge with her. The two of them walked in at the same time. Willow took out a drink. The police were about to leave when the drug dogs in their hands suddenly became restless and barked in Willow's direction as if they had found something. The police quickly followed the dogs. The drug dogs rushed toward Willow like a whirlwind and surrounded her, barking loudly. The police officer's expression turned serious. The reporters and paparazzi who had not gone far immediately gathered around again. When the crew members upstairs, who were about to rest and sleep, heard such a big commotion, they all walked downstairs. Honey was about to wash up and sleep when she heard someone outside say that something had happened to Willow. She hurriedly got up and went downstairs with Drake to take a look. Drake frowned. I wonder what happened this time. Let's go take a look. I'm a little worried. Honey walked faster than Drake and quickly went down. When everyone walked over, they saw the drug dogs surrounding Willow, barking violently. The event location was very chaotic. Seeing such a commotion, everyone had a thought in their hearts. Willow might not be innocent. They didn't know what method she used to hide from the detection dogs and the test earlier, but she was still exposed now. The dogs jumped wildly and barked at Willow's fingers. The police officer came over and took the bottle from her hand. He skillfully brought it to the detection dogs and let them sniff it. The dogs barked loudly, shaking their heads and wagging their tails, obviously indicating to the police that there was something in the bottle of juice. Check it. A police officer immediately took the bottle of juice and used a special instrument to check it. Everyone held their breaths. What would happen this time? There are indeed drugs in this, the police officer who checked the juice said. He turned to look at Willow with a very serious expression. You have to come with us. Everyone gasped. The reporters and paparazzi looked at each other. They thought that the issue had ended here, but there was a plot twist waiting for them at the end. The expressions of the members of the production team did not look too good. Honey looked at Willow bitterly. Sister, did you really do such a thing? She looked as though she had expected better from Willow. Those who didn't know better would think Honey was an elder who had high hopes for Willow. Willow rolled her eyes at her indifferently. Does whatever you say goes. Are you the ruler of an empire or something? Honey. An officer said, come with us. Okay. Willow nodded. By the way, this bottle of juice was given to me by a friend who also attended the event here tonight. At that time, we were all playing cards, and the loser had to drink this juice. When she gave me the juice, I had already drunk a lot and couldn't drink any more, so I put it here. If I have to cooperate with the investigation, I hope that the police will also investigate that friend of mine. Could that friend be Honey's cousin, Maria? Someone immediately asked. Her. No way. She looks like a beautiful innocent girl. Aren't there surveillance cameras here? We'll know after taking a look. There are fingerprints on the bottle too. You'll find mine on it because I just grabbed it, but you should be able to find Maria's too, right? 
Willow pointed at the surveillance cameras at the side and said. The footage from the surveillance cameras here could be broadcasted directly on the big screen beside them. Someone immediately pulled up the surveillance footage of the time Maria appeared. The surveillance cameras quickly replayed the scene just now. Willow lost the first round, and Maria gave her a glass of wine to drink as punishment, but Joshua drank it on her behalf. After that, Willow lost again, so Maria got her a beverage. Willow took it and looked at it. She probably thought that there was too much of it, so she placed it under the coffee table and drank the remaining drink in her glass. After that, no one touched the bottled juice Maria handed over, including Willow herself. Throughout the entire process, Willow was playing cards seriously. The surveillance cameras happened to capture the spot where she placed the drink. The drink was there all the time and did not spill a single drop. Later on, when Willow and Yosh Classic downstairs, she seemed to have remembered the drink. She walked over and took it. When she raised the bottle, intending to drink it, the detection dogs outside rushed in and stopped her. Otherwise, she might have drunk all the contents in the bottle. After watching the surveillance camera footage, everyone understood that Willow had been framed. Moreover, the person who framed her was most likely Maria. She appeared halfway through the night and wanted to drug Willow. She also called the police. If it weren't for a freak combination of factors, Willow would have drunk the bottle of juice when she was playing cards and would have been directly taken away by the police. It would have been very difficult to clear her name after that. I didn't expect that young lady to be such a person. No wonder she suddenly came to our gathering. It turns out that she had ulterior motives. This is too much. She's not framing Willow alone. It's obvious that she wants our entire production team to be miserable. Maria must be severely punished for her actions. Honey was the only one who held her breath when she saw this scene. She couldn't help but curse Maria in her heart for being such an idiot. She wondered if Maria had left. At this moment, Honey did not dare to reach out to Maria on WeChat for fear of implicating herself. Director Webb said, I saw Maria drive here just now. I don't know if she's gone or not. Police officers, quickly continue your investigation and arrest the culprit. One of the police officers said, don't worry. When we found drugs here just now, we had already expanded the scope of the investigation to the entire hotel. We should have leads soon. Director Webb was a little relieved. He looked at Willow with sympathy. When he looked at Honey again, his gaze was not so friendly. Maria was her friend and was not affiliated with anyone else on the production team. Now that the matter had blown up, even if they were cleared of suspicion, it would still have a negative impact on the entire production team. On Maria's side, she was still waiting anxiously for the results. Chapter 2175 Maria drugged Willow's drink. After letting Willow drink it in front of her, she played cards with Willow for a while. Then, when the production team dispersed and the reporters and police arrived, she quietly drove out of the hotel. Therefore, she had been hiding a few streets away from the hotel, waiting for the results. However, there was no follow-up news. She only found out that the paparazzi and reporters were about to leave. She guessed that the matter might have succeeded, so she drove back while waiting to know the final outcome. As soon as she drove into the underground parking lot of the hotel, the barking of detection dogs came from all directions and surrounded her car. Director Webb was talking to the police when a few police officers came over with Maria. Her makeup was ruined, and she looked very embarrassed. When she saw Willow standing in the crowd unscathed, her pupils dilated. Willow, you. What about me? Maria stammered, unable to speak. Are you very surprised to know that I'm completely fine? Willow said. What kind of situation did you think I'd be in? When Maria saw the drink on the table and the surveillance footage from that night, she completely understood. She didn't expect that Willow wouldn't drink the bottled juice and the surveillance cameras happened to record everything. Willow looked at her coldly. I really didn't know that you'd frame me like this. Tell me, was it your own idea or someone else's? When Honey heard this, she subconsciously hid behind the others. This matter actually had nothing to do with her at all. 
she just happened to let Maria know that Willow might be a drug addict. Then, she invited Maria over to play. As for what Maria wanted to do, it was completely out of her control. However, she was afraid that Maria would be desperate and mention her name. Fortunately, Maria did not do so. She said angrily, Willow, this was my own idea. So what? Didn't you take drugs before? Why are you pretending in front of me? Do you think I don't know anything? Why did you leave the industry five years ago? Do you want me to tell everyone here the reason? Willow smiled. Her eyes were beautiful, and when she smiled, she looked a little charming. Oh, it seems that you don't know yet. Just now, everyone has already received my examination report from five years ago. The police personally issued it to prove that I wasn't taking drugs at that time. Maria's gaze changed drastically as she looked at the others. Their eyes did not contain disgust for Willow. Their disgust and disdain were targeted at her. When she recalled how she would occasionally take drugs, she couldn't help but tremble in fear. Initially, Willow was the one who should be investigated. She should have been exposed for her drug addiction a few years ago. Why had the target changed to her now? Honey ignored her and lowered her head. Maria, you're suspected of taking drugs and causing intentional harm. Please come back with us today to cooperate with the investigation, the police officer said to her mercilessly. When the police arrived before Willow, the officer's tone was much more polite. Willow, although this matter has nothing to do with you, you're also involved in this. Please come back with us to give a statement. Okay, I'm willing to cooperate. Willow did not refuse. All right, everyone. That's all for tonight. You can all go back. Director Webb waved his hand and said, Willow, I'll accompany you. Director Webb, you should rest first. I can handle it myself. I can go with her, Joshua, who had been silent, said. Willow turned around and met his gaze. She smiled. She knew that he would accompany her, so she didn't need Director Webb. Director Webb immediately understood and said, all right. Considering it happened on Mr. Miller's territory, it's indeed more convenient for you to resolve something like this than for me to do it. Then I'll have to trouble you, Mr. Miller. His words also let everyone know why Joshua had left with Willow. This time, everyone was really relaxed and went back. The paparazzi and reporters also retreated. Drake pulled Honey's hand. All right, Willow is fine. Let's go back. Honey's smile was a little forced, but she still squeezed out a bright smile for him. It's good that she's fine. I'm just a little worried about Maria. Maria went too far. You reap what you sow. Drake's tone was very serious. Honey also knew that Maria's actions would not be forgiven no matter what, but she deserved it. Honey did not defend Maria anymore and obediently followed Drake. Maria looked at Willow with resentment. She never expected that she would get herself into trouble for wanting to frame her. Willow walked to her side and said calmly, Why bother, Maria? You take drugs yourself, so why try to drag me down with you? You hurt my father like that, causing him to be sick every day. I'm just taking revenge for my father. Willow, you took my father's kidney for Karen. You're really too vicious. Maria scolded sternly. Don't forget that he took the initiative to donate it. Don't flatter yourself and think that you're taking revenge on me for your father. By taking revenge on me, your ultimate goal is just to please honey, no. If you harm me, Honey will give you a large sum of money and let you be her loyal follower, right? Willow shook her head. What a pity. You want to be a dog, but Honey isn't willing to keep you. Who do you think will benefit in the end? Besides, you don't even have the right to be a dog now. Willow, I'm going to kill you. Maria was about to go crazy from Willow's provocation and tried to rush toward her. Chapter 2176 However, she was already handcuffed by the police. There were police officers standing on both sides of her, holding her down tightly. It was impossible for her to hurt Willow at all. Willow stood rooted to the ground, not even blinking as she watched her go crazy. Joshua accompanied Willow to give her statement. As the matter had nothing to do with Willow, she was sent out by the police after giving her statement. Maria was still cooperating with the investigation. 
she had a history of taking drugs. Now that she was being investigated, she could not hide her past. The consequences would probably be tragic. When Willow went out, it was already three in the morning. There was a deep chill in the air. Her fingers turned cold. She clasped her hands together, and suddenly, her shoulders felt warm. Joshua's coat was already on her. She reached out and tidied it up. Joshua grabbed her cold hand and held it in the middle of his warm palm. The mix of heat and cold produced sparks on the tips of her fingers. Willow's heart skipped a beat, like ripples on a calm lake. Sigh, I probably shouldn't be here. I should be somewhere else. Chris's voice sounded not far away. Willow looked up and saw Chris standing in front of a car, leaning against it. He looked a little devilish. Joshua held Willow's hand and walked toward the car. Then why didn't you stay in the car? Boss, be reasonable. I've been busy until now. Is this the treatment I should be receiving? Chris got into the car and counted on his fingers. I was the one who arranged for the reporters and paparazzi to barge in aggressively. The words of that aggressive reporter were very impactful, but that allowed sister-in-law's defense to be heard. As for the explanation and evidence, I was the one who made the arrangements, no. The trending searches have completely changed now, and the clarification is all over Weibo. I'm the one who made this all happen, no. Thank you. Willow had long seen through the situation. Although the paparazzi and reporters tonight were fierce, the trends had indeed changed. The reporters and paparazzi were probably hired by Maria, but they were later instigated by Chris. Otherwise, even if she brought out evidence to shut them up, they would probably still take it out of context and wrongly accuse her. Chris smiled. Sister-in-law, you're the best. Let's go, I'll send you back. You've worked hard tonight. Willow was indeed very grateful. If it weren't for his professional intervention, it would have been difficult to control the situation. It's my duty. As Chris drove, he burst with joy after being thanked by Willow. This was the difference between working with boss and working with sister-in-law. He asked, by the way, sister-in-law, since you had direct evidence tonight to prove that you didn't take drugs back then, why did you ask Howard to testify for you? When I saw the video of what happened at the event location that was sent to me by the reporters, my heart jumped to my throat. Didn't Howard's response add insult to injury? Yes, there was really no reason to call him tonight. I just wanted to see his attitude, Willow said. You mean, you wanted to see what his character was like? You wanted to know if he'd tell the truth? Yeah, you can say that. Willow nodded. Chris understood. Fortunately, you didn't need his testimony. I have one last question. How did you know that there was something in the drink Maria gave you? Was it just a coincidence? If I tell you that I smelled the drugs, would you believe me? Willow said with a smile. She was proficient in all kinds of herbs although she had never come into contact with something like drugs. When something like juice was drugged, others would be bewitched by the rich fragrance of the juice and would not be able to detect anything else. However, Willow knew at that time that there was something inside. Although she wasn't sure what was inside at that time, since she knew that there was something else in it, Willow naturally wouldn't drink it. Chris smiled. I believe you. Everyone in your family is a genius. No, it's our family. By the way, why didn't the detection dog smell the drink in the beginning? When I put the drink there, I used something to keep the smell isolated because I really wanted to know what Maria had given me. I was afraid that it would be difficult to investigate after whatever was put inside evaporated. But when I saw the police coming over with the detection dogs, I already guessed what was inside. Therefore, I took the opportunity to take out the drink before the police left and gave the dogs a chance. Chris couldn't help but clap his hands. He knew that there would be something exciting tonight, but he didn't expect it to be this exciting. Sister-in-law, I feel that you'll take me to greater heights by being your manager. Focus on driving. Joshua knocked him on his head. Chris quickly put his hands back on the steering wheel. I was just curious. Boss, aren't you curious? So many things happened tonight. Don't tell me you knew about all of it from the beginning. Willow also turned to look at Joshua. 
The lights outside shone on him through the car window, but a shadow was cast on the other half of his face. Many things had happened tonight. Coupled with the fact that there were eyes all around, she did not get to mention much to him. However, every move he made matched her plan perfectly. Whether it was being investigated by the police at the event location, getting Chris to arrange for reporters to deliberately ask her questions, or her getting that drink before the police left, he had played along with her perfectly. They didn't even need a word of communication or a secretive look. He seemed to know what she was going to do, so he cooperated seamlessly. Her puzzled and bright eyes shone in Joshua's eyes. He tilted his head and closed the distance between them. As if knowing what she wanted to ask, he said in a low and calm voice, I didn't know anything. I just knew what I had to do, and we happened to be a good match. Willow's heart beat faster listening to his hoarse voice. The atmosphere in the narrow car quickly rose. Chris, who did not receive a response, glanced into the rearview mirror. At this glance, he was overwhelmed by the couple's PDA. He knocked on the steering wheel. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, have mercy on this single man here. Willow quickly distanced herself from Joshua. Chapter 2177. Joshua glanced at him. Then you can find someone to have PDA with as well. It was my mistake. I shouldn't have been in the car. After parking the car, Chris quickly left the affectionate couple alone. Joshua sent Willow to the door of the hotel room. Seeing her open the door, Joshua said in a low voice, rest early. Good night. Good night, Willow said. I'll watch you leave. I'll watch you go in. Go ahead. Willow thought for a while and nodded. If she didn't close the door, Joshua probably wouldn't leave. She was about to close the door when Joshua held it with one hand and pulled her into his arms he kissed her deeply. When Willow reacted, he said in a low voice, all right, good night now. When Willow lay on the bed, her mind was filled with his back view. Thinking of their tacit understanding during the entire night tonight, her heart surged like a strong wave. She had already experienced so much, and she didn't think that there was anything that could make her falter like this. There were too many things that had happened today, so Willow quickly fell asleep. On Weibo. In the beginning, Willow was scolded by all parties. The number of comments on her latest Weibo reached a million, and they were all bashing her. The hashtag hashtag Willow, get out of the entertainment industry hash filled the internet. The public was agitated and wished they could kick Willow out of the industry immediately. The fans waiting for White Fox were also very angry. They were worried that the movie would be ruined by Willow. Honey's fans waited to see Willow make a fool of herself. At the same time, they kept adding fuel to the fire and exaggerated the story of Willow leaving the entertainment industry back then because of drugs. Anyway, it's impossible for such an artiste to stay in the entertainment industry. Ban her. What's the use of being beautiful? Even if she's beautiful, that's not enough for her to be a celebrity. Director Webb personally posted on Weibo to explain the details of tonight's incident. What? It turns out that an unrelated person framed Willow. Is it true? Is this a brainwashing agenda by the person behind Willow to protect her? I don't believe it. However, soon, the reporters and paparazzi released the news about tonight's events. One of them even posted a video that was taken at the event location. In the video, the reporter's attitude was very aggressive. The questions he asked Willow were all questions that everyone was concerned about. Not only did he ask about the present issue, but he also asked about what happened five years ago. Immediately, Willow underwent a blood test from the police at the event location to prove her innocence. After that, she took out the examination report from a few years ago, proving that she had not taken drugs back then and was just preparing for a role in a movie. The police's examination report was the best evidence. Gradually, the doubts about Willow subsided. After all, this was an interview with the police involved. It was impossible to fake it. However, there were still some anti-fans who couldn't settle down. This can't be true. I can only say that money talks. Willow sure has the guts to drag the police down with her. That's right. It's obvious that this interview is fake. It's fake. Willow should get out of the industry. 
She shouldn't stay as she'll only cause harm to everyone else. However, these anti-fans only faced further humiliation. The police in C City's Jinghua district, who were involved in the case tonight, directly published a report that confirmed that Willow had been framed. Moreover, the management of the hotel also confirmed that Willow had never taken drugs. Right on the heels of that, the police in Qinglin district of C City also issued a joint statement, confirming that five years ago, Willow took the initiative to go to the police for a blood test and a hair test because of the rumors circulating on the internet. In the end, the police did not find a trace of drugs in her blood system. Two reports with red stamps were shown in front of everyone. Seeing that the evidence was conclusive, it was meaningless to mock Willow anymore. Only then did the momentum lessen. Willow's fans, who had been suppressed all night, finally recovered. With the evidence, they fought to save Willow, who had been slandered all night, from her anti-fans. After going through all the content online, Drake went to rest in relief. However, Honey could not sleep the entire night. The more she looked at the situation online, the more uncertain she felt. The night before, everyone slept late. The next day, they only woke up at almost noon. Because of what had happened last night, everyone was not in a good mood. When Honey went downstairs, she could clearly feel that the way everyone looked at her had changed. It was no wonder. She was the one who invited Maria and introduced her to everyone. Honey said that Maria was her cousin, but this cousin of hers framed Willow. Fortunately, Willow didn't drink that bottle of juice. If she really drank it, she wouldn't have been able to clear her name. If she was framed, things would have been even worse. Therefore, although everyone seemed to be talking and laughing with Honey, they were actually a little distant. Honey sensed this change, but there was nothing she could do. Fortunately, this production team was about to dissolve. In the future, they would only work together again during the promotion period, so Honey did not care much. Veronica walked toward Willow. Willow, fortunately, everything is fine. Don't worry and don't think too much. I know. Willow nodded. Veronica's worry last night was real, and so was her comfort now. Director Webb also walked over. If you still want to continue playing today, you can do so. If you don't want to, you can disperse now. However, whichever you choose to do, go to my assistant's office to sign your name so that we can confirm the number of people. Immediately, those who did not want to continue playing quickly ran over to the office to sign their names. Honey was no longer in the mood. If she stayed here, she would just be subjected to the dirty looks others gave her. She said to Drake, Brother Drake, let's go back. Okay. Thinking that she was worried about Maria, Drake advised, no matter what Maria does, it's her own business. You don't have to worry, let alone blame yourself. I really shouldn't have called her over last night. Initially, she kept telling me that she wanted to come and mingle with the production team. I couldn't reject her, so I agreed. I didn't expect her to do such a thing. You have nothing to do with this. Even if you hadn't called her over, she would have thought of a way to frame Willow. Honey looked in Willow's direction. I feel really sorry for my sister. Chapter 2178. Forget it. Time will tell. Sooner or later, she'll understand that you have no ill intentions toward her. Drake looked in Willow's direction. Today, Willow was wearing a simple white shirt and jeans. She was clearly dressed in modest clothes that weren't at all revealing, but she was exceptionally outstanding. Willow was probably leaving too. Before Drake could go forward to greet her, he saw a car coming over. After Willow got into the car, she left. Let's go too. Drake held Honey's hand. Comma. On Howard's side, he didn't pay much attention to it when he saw that Willow had debunked the rumors going around on Weibo. He did not regret picking up Willow's call last night and saying what he did. Howard didn't mind offending people who couldn't bring any benefits to him. Besides, he was already a famous director now. Willow was just an artiste. She would be the one begging him for a job. There was no chance that he would ever have to beg her. What was there to be afraid of? At this moment, Chris was driving and asked into his Bluetooth earpiece, Boss, do you need me to do anything about Howard? 
Why do you want to make a move on him? He actually rebuked sister-in-law in public. Isn't he stirring up trouble? Besides, I've checked. When sister-in-law and director Simpson were discussing the movie, he often participated. The impact of his lies on sister-in-law is not small. Joshua's calm and steady voice came from the other end of the line. There's no need to do anything. Willow has her own plans and arrangements. Don't try to disrupt them. Boss, you've really changed. Chris's tone was pained. You actually don't want to deal with him directly. Isn't it good to let your sister-in-law deal with him? Chris angrily ended the call after hearing the man's affectionate tone. Why couldn't Joshua let him play with Howard a little? No, he didn't seem to need to practice anymore. Comma. Willow sent Joshua a WeChat message. The production team's team building event is almost over. I've already left the hotel. I won't delay your work today. Joshua replied quickly, go home and have a good rest. Joshua, also, my work won't be delayed if it's you. Willow pursed her lips into a smile, and the spark in her eyes shone even more brightly. She wasn't aware that she had been smiling more than the past few years combined. When she returned home, little Daniel ran over like the wind, rushed into her arms, and hugged her. Mommy, I miss you. Willow picked him up. Little Daniel rubbed against her shoulder and said, wait for me. I'll get you the juice that I squeezed myself. Okay. Willow put him down, and he quickly ran toward the dining hall. He came back with a glass of watermelon juice. Raising the glass of watermelon juice to Willow, little Daniel said obediently, Mommy, drink it. Willow picked it up and took a big sip. It's so sweet. Little Daniel's eyes were sparkling, and his face was filled with pride. I squeezed it myself. Thank you, little Daniel. I like it very much. Willow bent down and said to him softly and solemnly. Okay, I'll make more for you next time. Okay, Willow agreed seriously. She stood up and saw Elliot standing at the side with a bowl of soup in his hand. Seeing that she was talking to little Daniel, Elliot did not come forward. Elliot. Willow called him over. Elliot walked over with his usual expressionless face. He calmly stood in front of her. What are you holding? Willow asked. Oh, it's nothing. It's the soup that we got delivered. Elliot placed the soup on the coffee table beside her. Drink it if you want to. Little Daniel reached out to take it, but Elliot held his hand. I'm not talking about you. I'll serve it to mommy. Can't I? Little Daniel picked up the soup and obediently handed it to Willow. Mommy, drink the soup. Willow looked at Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, little Daniel. She reached out to take it. The soup tasted all right, but she could tell as soon as she drank it that it was probably made at home and not takeout. She glanced at Elliot and realized that there was a band-aid on his finger. When she left yesterday, his hand was fine. Willow suddenly thought of something and glanced at the kitchen. The butler actually agreed to let Elliot cook. Wasn't he afraid that he would blow up the kitchen and himself? Watching Willow drink the soup, Elliot secretly but seriously sized up Willow's expression. His little face was tense as if he was a student waiting for the results of his exam. Ahem, this soup, Willow savored the taste. What's wrong? Elliot looked up at her nervously. Willow bent down and looked straight into his eyes. I don't know which restaurant you ordered it from, but it tastes so good. If I want soup in the future, I'll order it from this restaurant. Elliot's tense expression relaxed. He narrowed his eyes. Okay. Why don't you give me the restaurant's address so that I can order it on my own in the future? Elliot clenched his fists. There's no address. I'll get someone to buy it for you if you want to drink the soup again in the future. Okay, thank you. Willow put the empty bowl aside. When she turned around, Elliot smiled. Seeing that his juice was not as well received as Elliot's soup, little Daniel said, don't smile. If it weren't for the fact that drinking too much cold liquids would be bad, I definitely wouldn't have let mommy drink so much of your soup. She likes my juice much more than your soup. Really? Doesn't mommy drink more of whatever she likes? H-M-P-H. Not at all. Facts speak louder than words. Elliot looked at him slowly. Then the truth is that she's my mommy, not yours. 
Little Daniel also found a powerful counterattack. Elliot shrugged indifferently. But don't forget that we're twins. Then don't forget that you were unwilling to accept our mommy back then. You tried all means to recommend other women to daddy. Don't think I'll forget about this. Little Daniel said in a low voice, obviously not wanting Willow to hear it. He was not afraid of hurting Elliot, but he was afraid that Willow would be sad if she overheard him saying such things. However, Willow had already heard it. She happened to turn around and heard every word little Daniel said. She raised her eyebrows slightly, and little Daniel hurriedly covered his mouth. Elliot lowered his eyes. Mommy, that's not what I meant, little Daniel quickly wanted to explain, but he was afraid that if he explained wrongly, it would make Willow even sadder. For a moment, he did not know what to say. It's okay. Don't think too much. Go play. Chapter 2179 Seeing that she really looked fine, little Daniel was a little relieved and asked, Can I go to your room to play? Little Daniel ran happily to the room upstairs. Seeing her calm expression, Elliot asked, Aren't you angry? Why would I be angry? Willow asked curiously, What little Daniel said just now is true. Back then, I did object to anyone else being my mommy except for the person I recommended. But that person was rejected by everyone. You didn't know me back then, and I didn't know you either. At that time, you had the right to choose. What you did was in your interests back then. How could I be angry? Willow sat down and pulled Elliot to her side. She said calmly, Elliot, will you accept me as your mommy now? Yes, of course. Elliot nodded without hesitation. Okay. Willow's eyes were full of light, and the gentleness in them overflowed before her gaze turned calm. Then remember this, Elliot. Even though you've accepted me as your mommy now, it doesn't mean that my interests are above yours. You still have the right to express your likes and dislikes. You don't have to compromise with the people and things you don't like. You have to follow your heart for everything. Unless you feel that compromising will make you happier, you don't have to make yourself suffer too much. Elliot looked into her eyes and nodded slowly. Willow patted his head. I only hope that you and little Daniel can be happy. Actually, you were the mommy I recommended to daddy back then, Elliot said. Huh. Willow was really surprised. We knew each other on the internet for a period of time, no. Although you didn't reveal much personal information, I always had a feeling in my heart that for some reason, I knew you'd be my mommy. I tried my best to get your personal information, but I only managed to get an obscure photo of you. It was very blurry. At that time, I showed the photo to everyone, but they all objected and rejected me. Elliot told Willow everything that had happened back then. Willow's eyes widened. She had never thought that such a thing would happen. The mommy that Elliot recommended to his family back then was actually her. I think it's ridiculous myself. I couldn't find any more information about you, so I could only give up. Elliot shook his head in disappointment. That was the first time he felt that someone was suitable to be his mommy. It was the first time he had such a feeling even though he was previously bombarded by the many women chosen by Patricia. Fortunately, his feeling was right. Although no one agreed with his choice back then, he still got what he wanted in the end. His calm and satisfied expression quickly replaced the disappointment on his face. What did it matter? Comma. After Willow finished talking to Elliot, Elliot went back to study. Willow returned to her room and saw little Daniel squatting on the ground, picking something. Little Daniel, what's wrong? Little Daniel stood up nervously with his hands behind his back. Tell me, what's wrong? Willow's tone was serious and gentle. Seeing that he couldn't hide it anymore, little Daniel spread his hands in front of her. I accidentally dropped your lipsticks on the floor and broke them. I wanted to piece the pieces back together, but I couldn't, I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't do it on purpose. There were two or three lipsticks in his hands, and they were all in pieces. Little Daniel's hands were red, stained with lipstick. The lipstick was everywhere, so how could he piece them back together? The more anxious he was, the more flustered he became. He wanted to pick them up, but in the end, all three lipsticks were ruined. Little Daniel lowered his head, waiting to be criticized. 
Willow laughed but soon pretended to be serious as she asked, how did you drop them? I was playing with toys here just now and accidentally dropped this box. Then I realized that the lipsticks were broken. Through his words, Willow could tell that he was not lying. This box of lipstick was sent over by the brand. Willow opened it and took a look. She hadn't tried them yet, and the box was placed out here. It's okay. I won't blame you since you didn't do it on purpose. Willow held his hand. Besides, you've admitted your mistake. You can just correct your mistakes. It's okay. You really don't blame me. Little Daniel raised his head and asked her. Really? Little Daniel smiled, revealing his two canine teeth. He had been a little devil since he was young. Everyone said that about him, so he just decided to go along with it. He had broken countless things since he was young. Everyone would just laugh it off each time, thinking that it didn't matter. Only Willow would gently tell him why she forgave him and patiently tell him what was right and wrong. Let's go wash your hands. Willow brought him to the bathroom and wiped his little hands with soap till they were clean. Little Daniel laughed happily. She quickly brought them closer and realized that his fingers were red and swollen. The sight was a little scary. Other than the lipsticks, did you touch anything else? Willow immediately asked. No, I really didn't touch your things, I swear. That's not what I meant. There's something wrong with your hands. Look, you're having an allergic reaction. I want to know what caused it. Little Daniel pointed at the toy over there. I was playing with that just now. I didn't touch anything else. Willow thought about it carefully. When she came back just now, little Daniel had carried over the fruit juice and soup. His fingers were fine then, and there was indeed nothing wrong. She walked over and picked up the toy to take a look. Little Daniel had played with this toy many times. Clearly, it was not because of the toy. It was very likely that he was allergic to the lipsticks. Willow picked one up and observed it carefully. Little Daniel stood at the side guiltily. Seeing her serious expression, he said softly, I'm sorry, mommy. I'll use my pocket money to compensate you for the lipsticks. I told you that I don't mind, so don't blame yourself anymore. Willow put down the lipstick, took his hands, and blew on them gently. Does it hurt? No, it's just a little itchy. I'll apply ointment for you. Willow brought the first aid kit over and carefully applied the ointment for little Daniel. Chapter 2180. Fortunately, Willow discovered it in time. After applying the medicine, little Daniel felt a chill. After a moment, the swelling subsided by more than half. Willow sent little Daniel back to his room and instructed the butler to take care of little Daniel before returning to her room. She picked up the toy and lipstick and tested them with a special instrument. There was indeed nothing wrong with the toy. The amount of heavy metal in the lipstick was higher than the standard. It might not be a problem for adults to use it, but a child's skin was very tender. Little Daniel had a lot of it on his hands, causing him to have an allergic reaction. The lipsticks were sent over by the brand, and there was another box that hadn't been opened yet. Willow immediately took it and tested it. The content of heavy metal in the lipsticks in this box was also above the standard. Generally speaking, adults had a stronger resistance, and considering one wouldn't use a lot of lipstick, problems like this were rare. However, an allergic reaction was inevitable for some people with weak physiques or those who used too much of the product. Besides, even healthy adults should not be fooled by such brands. Willow picked up her phone and called her assistant, Tiffany. Little Tiffany, go buy me a few lipsticks from GK. Go to different malls to buy them. After you buy them, please send them to the studio. Okay, Sister Willow. Are you doing product research? GK is waiting for you to shoot their commercials and become their endorser. Buying more of their products is indeed the right choice. Ahem, buy them for me so that I can take a look at their products first. It was precisely because Willow had received an endorsement invitation from this brand that she received the lipsticks. She was used to using the lipsticks of a certain brand, so she hadn't used the ones she received. She didn't expect to discover a problem so quickly. She immediately rushed to the studio. Not long after she rushed over, Tiffany delivered the GK lipsticks. 
Sister Willow, I bought a total of 10. They're all different shades. Take a look. Leave them here. Willow nodded and put on a mask and gloves. Seeing her like this, Tiffany asked curiously, what are you going to do? I want to look at the composition. Tiffany had never seen such a thing. She sat at the side and watched her do it. A moment later, Willow said, I can confirm that the issue of excessive heavy metal is not just with the two boxes of lipsticks that I received. The ones you brought over have the same issue as well. Huh. Then isn't this a scam? What will happen if someone uses the product? If it's a light reaction, they'll have an allergic reaction. If it's a strong reaction, the consequences are hard to say, Willow said. Tiffany hurriedly took out a GK lipstick from her bag and put it aside. Then I don't want to use it. I've been wondering why the lines on my lips have become more and more pronounced recently. It turns out it's because of the lipstick. I had no problem when I used lipsticks from other brands previously. Yes, don't use it for the time being, Willow said calmly. She then picked up the phone and called Chris. Hearing the news, Chris was shocked. You've already confirmed it. I've confirmed it. Little Daniel had an allergic reaction to the lipsticks today because of this. Let's not take on this endorsement. Chris immediately said, okay. But I've already agreed with them that you'll go over tomorrow morning to shoot the commercial. Since such a thing has happened, let's go over together tomorrow and talk it out. We'll also terminate the contract. No problem, Willow replied. Seeing that Willow was about to withdraw from the endorsement deal, Tiffany felt that it was quite a pity. However, she also agreed with her decision. One should earn money through ethical and legal means, not by doing something that went against one's own conscience. When Willow returned home, she checked little Daniel's fingers again. The butler had applied the ointment on him once more. Now, little Daniel's fingers had basically recovered, and there was only a very faint red mark. It would probably disappear by tomorrow. Although little Daniel was very lucky, Willow knew that if others got an allergic reaction from the product, they might not be so lucky. When many people first had an allergic reaction, they would not be able to confirm what caused it. They might not be as lucky as little Daniel, who immediately washed away all the allergens and then used the most suitable medicine. Comma. The next day, Chris came over early in the morning to pick up Willow. Sister-in-law, fortunately, you discovered the problem early. Otherwise, you'd have to take the blame later. Although Chris had fought for a long time to get the endorsement deal with GK for Willow, he didn't think it was a pity. Willow had just made a comeback. It was indeed not easy for her to get an endorsement. However, with her strength, the resources she could obtain in the future would not be inferior to what she had now. Yes, let's make it clear to them today, Willow said calmly. By the way, I'll give them the test report. This, won't it be inappropriate considering our standing? It's fine if I hadn't discovered a problem, but since I have, I won't be able to live with my conscience if I don't tell them about it. This will affect many consumers. Chris could see the calmness and determination in her eyes. At this moment, even he was influenced by her and stopped being sloppy. Okay, we'll do as you say. The two of them arrived at the event location together. GK was the flagship lipstick brand of a famous foreign brand. Its reputation in the past few years had been very good. Currently, its sales in the country had been very stable. The company rented a large shed for today's commercial shoot, and everything was ready. Even the advertising planner and brand director, Rowan Copper, appeared to supervise today's filming. Seeing Chris and Willow appear, Rowan smiled and came forward. Mr. Hunt, Miss Presgrave, welcome. Please come in. Hello, Director Cooper. Chris shook his hand and introduced Willow. Rowan sized up Willow carefully and saw that she was even more beautiful than in the photos. Her lips were red without any makeup. Although her expression was cold, the occasional smile on her face was quite touching. As someone in the fashion industry, his sharp senses told him that Willow was a good fit for the brand. If he got her to endorse the brand, the image of the brand would be more deeply rooted in people's hearts. Miss Presgrave, it's been hard on you. You can rest for a while before you get your makeup done and we start filming. 
It was not convenient for Chris to tell him about the problem with the lipsticks here, so they went to the guest lounge together. After the three of them sat down, Chris went straight to the point and said, Director Cooper, we're actually here today to tell you something very important. Oh, what is it? Please elaborate. Rowan asked humbly. Chris had just taken out a document and was about to talk about the matter when Rowan's assistant walked over from outside. He said in a hurry, Director Cooper, Assistant Director Santos is here. He said that he has something to tell you. It's very urgent, and he wants you to go see him now. Chapter 2181 When Rowan heard this, he could only say apologetically to Chris, Mr. Hunt, I'm sorry. I have something urgent to attend to. I have to excuse myself first. Chris could only say, then go ahead with your work. After Rowan left, Willow frowned slightly. Chris said, let's wait for him to come back. There's no hurry. Rowan quickly walked out and found assistant director Logan. Logan was dressed in a suit and leather shoes. There was a smile in his dark eyes, and he looked a little difficult to deal with. Seeing Rowan, Logan Santos smiled and said, Director Cooper, have a seat. Rowan sat down. Logan asked, do you want tea or coffee? I'll get my assistant to prepare it. Assistant Director Santos, if you have anything to say, why don't you just say it? I still have guests waiting for me. I really don't have much time to waste. As you know, I'm the one who arranged to shoot the commercial today. In that case, Director Cooper, I'll get straight to the point. Your commercial can't be filmed. There had always been undercurrents between Rowan and Logan. Rowan had been in the position of director for several years, and Logan, as a rising star, had long coveted his position. The two of them had always fought openly and covertly, but on the surface, they were still harmonious. This was the first time they were so direct. Rowan immediately said, Assistant Director Santos, what are you saying? I've signed a contract with Willow. The studio today has already been booked. Why can't I shoot the commercial? Willow needs to be replaced. Logan placed a photo on the table. Now, we want to use Sandra Hopkins. Assistant Director Santos, Willow's contract has been signed. She's also waiting outside. We've also observed her data and image before. She's the best candidate. It's a little unreasonable to replace her just like that, no. Director Cooper, you're wrong. What Willow has done in the past few days is very ugly. How can a female artiste make a comeback in the future if she's involved in scandals like drug abuse? Don't tell me you want our lipstick to be associated with this kind of stuff. Didn't you see that she has already clarified it? The police from two districts have also released the results of her examination to confirm that she didn't do those things in the past or now. They're just false rumors. But our new candidate, Sandra, has a clean family background. Her father is the big shot director, Howard. She was also nominated for Best Actress for her previous work. Compared to Willow, she's more suitable. Logan pushed the information to Rowan. The higher UPS have already agreed to my decision and agreed to replace Willow at the last minute. I'm sorry, Director Cooper. I'm doing this for the overall development of the brand, not for personal benefits. Rowan did not expect him to go past him and communicate with the higher-ups behind his back. He even made a decision that he did not know about. Obviously, Logan would use this as a stepping stone. It was only a matter of time before he replaced him. Logan tidied his clothes and shook his head. Director Cooper, I advised you before that if anything happened to Willow, you should get rid of her as soon as possible. But you didn't listen. I'll call the higher-ups and negotiate with them. It's useless. Logan took out the document that had been stamped. The matter has already been decided. When Rowan saw the red stamp on the document, he knew that Logan was right. It was indeed useless for him to insist. Even though Willow had already cleared her name, Logan still convinced the higher-ups to give up on her and hire Sandra instead. Although Sandra had achievements in her career, her image and temperament did not match GK. Rowan shook his head and turned to leave. Logan pressed his cell phone and made a call. Director Hopkins, Yao Yao's matter has been settled. We can start filming now. Okay, thank you, Director Santos. 
Howard happily accepted. There's no need to be so polite. Yao Yao is also someone I think highly of. She has both achievements and exposure. It's much wiser for us to use her than Willow. Howard was obviously very satisfied. Thank you, Director Santos. Howard put down his phone in satisfaction. Previously, Willow had asked him over the phone to clarify that she never took drugs, and his answer only exacerbated her plight. Even though Willow had already clarified things to the public and many believed her, as long as he showed some hesitation when talking about the matter, some people would still be brainwashed by him. Comma. Rowan returned to Chris. Seeing that there was something wrong with his expression, Chris asked, Director Cooper, are you feeling unwell? No, I have something to tell you. Then go ahead, Chris said politely. No, it's all right. Please tell me what you wanted to say earlier first. Rowan remained polite. Chris's matter was indeed of great importance, so he didn't refuse. He said, when Willow and I were testing the lipsticks, we discovered that they can cause an allergic reaction due to excessive amounts of heavy metal. This is a self-made report. When Rowan heard this, he immediately took the report and looked at it seriously. This problem is very serious. Rowan frowned after reading it. Quality was the foundation of a brand. If such a problem was not resolved and the news got out in the future, it would undoubtedly cause a huge impact on their reputation. However, the report given by Chris was not issued by a special organization, so Rowan still had some concerns. He said, how about this? I'll take our products to a professional organization for appraisal. If there are any mistakes, I'll get them corrected as soon as possible. Okay. Seeing that he took it very seriously, Chris glanced at Willow. It was not in vain for Willow to spend so much time on this. Director Cooper, you said you had something to say. What is it? The company suddenly changed its endorsement plan. We won't be proceeding with the original endorsement and commercials anymore. I'm really sorry. I'll issue you a termination agreement. The lawyer and the finance department will also contact you for liquidated damages. I'm really sorry for making you come here for nothing. When Chris heard this, he was furious. The other party wanted to terminate the contract at the last minute. However, Rowan's attitude was really good. He had already apologized sincerely and frankly. It was not appropriate for Chris to vent his anger directly. Willow, on the other hand, was very calm. She said calmly, then let's forget it, Director Cooper. I hope there'll be opportunities for cooperation in the future. Her calmness allowed Chris to simmer down. He remembered that Willow was unwilling to film today's commercial. She had originally planned to terminate the contract too. Now that Rowan had taken the initiative to terminate the contract, it was good. Chapter 2182 In that case, Director Cooper, I won't stand on ceremony. Please contact the legal team and the finance department. Chris stood up. Okay. Rowan apologized again. I'm sorry. Chris and Willow turned around and left. Rowan was also very regretful. In his opinion, Willow's image, temperament, and expression were very suitable for GK. If they couldn't cooperate now, then so be it. When they passed by the studio, Chris and Willow stopped in their tracks at the same time and looked in. Seeing the person filming inside, Chris shrugged. This is her. Sandra. Willow also recognized her. She had seen Howard many times before, so she had naturally seen Sandra before. Thinking of Howard, she realized that Howard had taken the opportunity to let his daughter snatch this resource from her. No wonder Howard had such an attitude the last time she looked for him. However, this was not the first time Howard had displayed an attitude. A few years ago, when the scandal about Willow being a drug addict broke out, she went to look for Howard. At that time, Howard stammered and refused to give her an answer. However, not long after, Willow temporarily left the industry because she was pregnant and gave birth. She no longer had any contact with him. Now that she thought about it, after she temporarily left the industry, many of her resources were given out. Apart from Honey, Sandra also took over a large number of them. Chris sized up Sandra with his sharp and professional gaze. She has a big nose and a short chin. Her image is not suitable for fashion at all. 
What's GK thinking? Forget it. We've achieved our goal anyway. It doesn't matter who they choose to film. Chris touched the tip of his nose and followed Willow out. When Rowan received Willow's report, he took it very seriously and immediately called his superiors. The person on the other end of the line was very arrogant. You want us to investigate the amount of heavy metal. We're using the most advanced standards in Europe now. How can there be such a problem? Rowan, I know you're in a bad mood because your plan with Willow didn't work out. Even though the lipstick commercials and promotions are being handled by Logan, it doesn't mean that the company doesn't value you. Let's leave this matter at that for the time being. Focus on the important things. But, Rowan wanted to defend himself, but the other party had already hung up. He pondered for a moment and called his assistant over. Contact a professional testing agency and see if they can do a special test for this batch of lipsticks. Okay. Wait. Before Rowan's assistant could leave, Logan walked in. Director Cooper, what if you take the company's products out for appraisal in private and it causes a negative impact? Logan walked over and picked up a lipstick. I advise you not to do anything that will ruin your future. If there's nothing wrong with the products, it won't cause any adverse effects. If there is something wrong, we'll get all the stocks withdrawn and redefine the production standards to save the image of the entire company. The outside world will definitely understand our actions. Rowan had always prioritized business and didn't think there was anything wrong with this. I advise you to forget it. No matter what the results of the examination are, the outside world might make a big deal out of it. At that time, you won't be able to bear the loss of the brand's image. Logan played with the lipstick and said in a disdainful tone, Also, do you really believe Willow and Chris's words? They're smart people. They're just using this matter to salvage their dignity after their contract was terminated. Do you really take their words seriously? Besides, where did they do the test report? Don't tell me they did it themselves. Rowan knew that this was not Willow's way of redeeming herself. This was because they had wanted to tell him that there was something wrong with their lipsticks before they found out that Willow's contract was terminated. There was no need to use this excuse to save her dignity. Rowan could even tell that Willow did not intend to continue becoming their spokesperson because of this matter. Seeing that Rowan was silent, Logan knocked on the table with the lipstick in his hand. Director Cooper, I advise you not to do anything useless. Just think about how to do your job well. With that, Logan turned around and left, walking toward the place where Sandra was filming the commercial. The assistant asked awkwardly, Director Cooper, are we still going to do this? You can leave first. Rowan waved his hand. When his assistant went out, he wrote a long email and sent it to several of his immediate superiors. Then, he called them and asked them to read the email. Those people read it quickly and replied to him after reading it. Work in peace. Quality isn't something you should care about. The company has its own considerations. Receiving such a reply, the discomfort in Rowan's heart slowly rose. It seemed that the higher-ups really did not intend to officially investigate this. That was true. The sales season was coming soon, so GK had to promote its products. If there was really a problem, there would be a problem with the entire quarter's revenue. Therefore, everyone would rather close their eyes and avoid the problem than personally solve it. After all, there had been no problems with consumer feedback for so many years, right? Rowan felt helpless. This was the first time he felt no sense of belonging in this company. He turned on the laptop again and typed three words in the document letter of resignation. Comma. In the itinerary for this month provided by Willow Studios' official Weibo account, there was a commercial shoot slotted in. Previously, she had replied to her fans on Weibo that the commercial she was going to shoot was for GK's lipsticks. At night, fans began to ask how the commercial shoot had been today and when they would be able to watch the commercial. The person who replied was Tiffany. After getting Willow's opinion, she replied sincerely to the fans, the commercial shoot was cancelled. Everyone, don't be anxious. Willow will have other work arrangements in the future. We'll reply to everyone when the time comes. Although the fans were disappointed, they knew that they couldn't rush it. 
After comforting Willow in the comments, they changed the topic. However, even if Willow and her fans didn't care, someone would still care. Sandra quickly released the photos she had taken for GK today and told her fans, the video hasn't been edited yet. I'll just release these photos for everyone to see first. The marketing accounts quickly compared Willow to Sandra. They secretly mocked Willow for not being as popular as Sandra and becoming the first artist to be rejected by the brand. Chapter 2183 Although Sandra had acted in movies before, she only ever acted in director Howard's works. Moreover, her looks were average, and she was truly not meant for fashion. Therefore, although the box office results of her previous movies were not bad, she had always been invisible in the industry. Even though she had taken over Willow's resources before, no one cared. Now that such a statement was released, it was obvious that Sandra's company wanted to step on Willow to let Sandra climb up the ladder. If Willow wanted to make a successful comeback, she had to increase her popularity first. Although the marketing accounts, method was simple and crude, there would definitely be people who would fall for it. They believed that Sandra was very popular and Willow was defeated by her. Sure enough, Sandra's fans used this marketing content to praise Sandra while stepping on Willow. The news of Willow being replaced by the brand kept spreading. With this wave of discussion, GK's name was constantly mentioned. The brand was very satisfied with the data. It was also convenient for Logan to claim credit for this hike in popularity. Willow's fans felt indignant for Willow, but the truth was the truth. GK had indeed chosen Sandra, so there was nothing they could do even if they were angry. A little while later, Willow logged into Weibo and posted a message. How do you choose a lipstick that suits you? When making your choice, apart from choosing a color that suits your preference and the price that suits your expectations, you also have to look at the content on the product composition chart. Choose something that suits your skin. Only then will your beauty shine more. Willow wanted to remind everyone to pay attention to the quality of this batch of GK lipsticks. However, saying it directly would affect the brand too much. Moreover, without conclusive evidence, it would be equivalent to spreading rumors. Besides, Rowan's attitude today was very good. Willow didn't have it in her to stab someone in the back. Therefore, she could only use this method to appeal to everyone and reduce their chances of getting tricked. She hoped that GK would quickly discover the problem and solve the quality problem of this batch of products. When the fans saw her Weibo post, they expressed that they understood. They would definitely choose something suitable for them. However, in the eyes of Sandra's fans, that was not the case. Is Willow seriously ill? She was replaced by the brand, yet she's saying that there's something wrong with GK's lipsticks. She's just jealous. She should take a look at herself in the mirror. The brand wouldn't have made the wrong choice. Look at how angry she is. I knew it. She's so petty. Her character is really not good. A few pieces of news quickly became trending topics. Hashtag Willow was crushed by Sandra Hash. Hashtag Willow makes allusions to GK's lipsticks Hash. She had just been involved in a drug scandal. Although it had already been clarified, Sandra's fans brought it up again, which gave people a bad impression of Willow. When the general public saw these things, they could not help but criticize Willow in disdain. For a moment, Sandra's popularity soared. Sister Willow, look at the situation on the internet. What should we do? Tiffany was very anxious, but she could not do anything. Willow glanced at the news and said, you don't have to do anything. Let's leave it at that. Are we just going to let them slander you? This is nothing, Willow said nonchalantly. There were many times when I was slandered even more badly. Don't worry, this isn't any substantial dirt. Let them mock me. Oh, Willow had also communicated with Chris. She would let them mock her for now. Chris had just hung up when a new call came in. When he saw that it was Rowan, he pouted and picked it up. Mr. Hunt. Rowan's attitude was as sincere as ever. I've already resigned from GK and gone to Top World. Top World has allowed me to freely choose a partner to work with. I'm responsible for Top World's advertisements and endorsements. I want to invite Miss Presgrave to be Top World's spokesperson.
I wonder if you two are free to meet up. Chris was slightly stunned. You resigned so quickly and changed your company. Actually, Top World had extended an offer earlier on, but I was worried about GK, so I didn't agree. It was only today that I made up my mind. They were both smart people. From his words, Chris could tell that Rowan wasn't aware of the decision to replace Willow. Moreover, it was likely that the company did not take the product's heavy metal content seriously, which led to Rowan's resignation. Unexpectedly, Rowan was quite wise. I can't answer you for the time being. I have to ask Willow for her opinion first. Okay, I'll wait for you. Chris immediately called Willow. Hearing his words, Willow thought for a moment. In that case, I think it's not a bad idea. So what if I'm mocked? Willow didn't take it to heart. Top World is an old domestic brand, and the quality of its products has always been consistent. I always use its products too. It's not a demotion. As long as the other party is sincere, I think it's fine. All right, I'll pass the message to Director Cooper. After settling this matter, Top World quickly announced that Willow would become its next spokesperson. Top World's reputation had always been good, but because of the impact of foreign brands, its presence was very weak, so many young people had never heard of this brand. This time, Rowan invited Willow to be its spokesperson and shoot its commercials because it wanted to increase its reputation and influence among young people. However, because news had just been released that Willow was rejected by GK, this official announcement did cause Willow to receive a wave of ridicule. Chapter 2184. Ha 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 ha, so the rejected spokesperson of GK is now going to endorse Top World. I'm dying of laughter. She even had the cheek to compare herself to Sandra before. How can she compare to Sandra? Who's going to use such low-end domestic products? Willow and Top World are peas of the same pod. I hope they won't take advantage of GK's popularity in the future. Sandra took her assistant's phone and glanced at the news. She said, actually, Willow is really quite pitiful. She doesn't have any other endorsements, which is probably why she had to accept this offer. I wonder why she's so lonely after making a comeback. She definitely can't compare to you, the assistant said with a smile. You're as elegant as GK's lipsticks. You're miles ahead of her in top world. Sandra smiled in satisfaction. Back when Willow was popular, she was a supporting character who couldn't even have any screen time. When she joined the production teams, countless people would say behind her back that she wasn't even worthy of carrying Willow's shoes. What about now? Was Willow worthy of carrying her shoes? By the way, Sandra, Assistant Director Santos no, Director Santos asked you and Director Hopkins out for a meal. Hurry up and get dressed. Okay, got it. Sandra stood up. She knew some time ago that her father and Logan had been in close contact. It was a mutually beneficial relationship. Now that Logan had succeeded in replacing Rowan, her position as spokesperson would be even more secure in the future. With this endorsement, she would surely receive a steady stream of resources from other fashion brands. Comma. On Top World's side, Willow was ready to shoot. Rowan personally received her. Miss Presgrave, we meet again. How have you been, Director Cooper? Miss Presgrave, please come in. Rowan invited her in gracefully. You'll be endorsing Top World's vintage lipstick line this time. A staff member will give you an introduction later. After filming, we'll promote it online and offline. I understand. Come, let's begin. Willow immediately got into work mode. This was a habit she had developed over the years. The makeup artist began to put on her makeup, and the stylist brought her clothes. At the same time, the staff member told her about the lipsticks. After getting dressed, Willow said, it's time. Let's shoot. She held a lipstick and assumed a professional posture. Her makeup was exquisite, making her already beautiful face look even more beautiful. However, no matter what she did, she always made the focus lie on the lipstick in her hand. The cameraman did not need to specially adjust the angle to catch Top World's lipstick in the center. Rowan had seen many artists shoot and film before, but he had to admit that in terms of performance, Willow was indeed better than all of them. 
Ten minutes later, the director had already finished filming all the content needed for the commercial. Willow was indeed very efficient. In order to have more material, Willow cooperated with the director and filmed a few more scenes. The staff members were very satisfied with such an efficient work model. Willow was efficient, and so was the production team. After Willow left, Top World's official Weibo account posted the photos. Compared to the photos that Sandra had taken of GK, this set of photos was much more refreshing and natural. They were also extremely expressive. Naturally, this attracted countless people's attention. Even if they didn't know who Willow was or what brand the lipsticks were from, they were willing to save this set of photos. In the comments, many netizens commented, which series is this? The photos have aroused my desire to buy these lipsticks. I don't mind having one more lipstick. Just post the link. Willow's photos greatly boosted the spread of Top World's brand. Comma. Top World quickly started promoting the lipsticks, and Willow's photos were posted in the brand's offline shops. The video commercial was displayed on the big screen. When Sandra and Logan met up for their second appointment, they passed by the mall and saw these advertisements. Willow sure has a lot of advertisements. Sandra sighed. However, she immediately saw that the number of her advertisements was greater than Willow's. The entire mall was filled with her advertisements. Yao Yao, I didn't mistreat you, did I? Logan smiled and said, I've already promoted you on the widest scale. Thank you, Director Santos, Sandra said with a smile. Obviously, GK was very sincere. The two of them walked into the private room of a restaurant together. Howard also came in. Director Hopkins, we've received feedback from GK's advertisements this time. With Yao Yao's endorsement, the brand's reputation has improved a lot, Logan said with a smile. Yao Yao is really our lucky star. Actually, he knew that this was mainly because Howard was willing to spend money on marketing his daughter. Sandra had indeed become very popular because of Willow. However, this was not only because of Howard's actions. Logan thought to himself that it was also because of Willow's stupidity. Not only did she not avoid going for another lipstick endorsement, but she also endorsed a brand that was far from GK's style. He did not know what was wrong with her, but she had made the mockery worse. Howard smiled and said, it's all thanks to Director Santos's guidance. Director Hopkins, you've helped me a lot as well. Logan did not deny Howard's contribution. If it weren't for Howard, he wouldn't have been able to squeeze Rowan out so easily and be promoted to director. Yao Yao, work hard. When the time comes, I'll fight for other endorsements for you. Work hard as GK's spokesperson. Logan patted Sandra's shoulder and said. Thank you, Director Santos. The three of them sat down and chatted happily. Howard poured Logan a few glasses of wine until Logan spoke with his tongue hanging out. His phone kept ringing in his bag, but his mind was on the wine, so he was unaware. Just then, someone knocked on the door of the private room. Sandra walked over and opened the door. She saw Logan's assistant standing at the door. Miss Hopkins, where's Director Santos? The assistant asked anxiously. I I'm here. Logan was drunk. He waved his hand and said, W why are you looking for me? Director Santos, there's bad news. There's a problem with GK's lipsticks. The headquarters wants you to go back and take a look at the situation. When Logan heard this, he immediately sobered up. However, he still staggered and almost fell when he tried to get up. Howard quickly helped him up and handed him to his assistant. Watching director Santos leave with his assistant, Howard had a bad feeling, but he didn't know where it came from. Chapter 2185 Willow had already received the news. Chris called her. Something is really wrong with GK's lipsticks. Sister-in-law, it's the heavy metals. Really? Didn't they investigate it after they were informed and withdraw the stocks out on the market? I just asked around. At that time, Rowan accepted our suggestion and applied to investigate, but the higher-ups didn't agree. They even promoted Logan. Rowan resigned in a fit of anger, so this matter was put on hold. Later on, consumers started reporting that they were allergic to GK's lipsticks. 
GK's public relations has always spent money to settle things peacefully. Willow did not expect a big brand like GK to do such a stupid thing. However, sometimes, when the company was big, such problems would indeed appear. Some people would deceive the higher-ups and lower-ranking employees, causing the problem not to be resolved. So what happened after that? Willow asked. A very popular influencer was testing out new lipsticks. She used GK's lipsticks, and she's now suffering from an allergic reaction. The state of her lips is very severe. GK intends to handle it privately, but this influencer doesn't want money at all. She wants to solve the problem. Not only did she report it to the relevant departments under her real name, but she also submitted a lawyer's letter asking GK to compensate her for her loss. Originally, GK's legal department could have resolved such a small matter, but this influencer's family is powerful and insists on giving their daughter an explanation. The matter blew up. Then, the previous incidents of other consumers getting an allergic reaction were also exposed. Now, the relevant departments have already gone straight to GK's shops to confiscate the lipsticks. They want to conduct a professional appraisal. Chris had been filled with anger recently because of Sandra trampling all over Willow. GK's retribution finally vented his anger and made him talk non-stop. What's going on now? Willow asked. It's estimated that GK won't be able to suppress things anymore. I'll report to you if there's any follow-up. Okay. After Willow hung up, she opened Weibo and took a look. In GK's comment section, there were many people who wanted to show off their allergies. Previously, GK had been suppressing the news, so this matter did not surface. Now that they couldn't suppress it anymore, more and more people joined in. My allergic reaction isn't serious. I'll be fine after a few days. But my best friend's allergic reaction is serious. It caused the corners of her lips to swell. GK is really immoral. Me too. I thought it was a problem with the change in seasons. It wasn't until I swiped the lipstick on my hand that day and noticed that there was also something wrong with the skin on my hand that I realized it might be an allergic reaction. Now that I think about it, Willow said on Weibo that we had to pay attention to the ingredients when choosing lipsticks. I think she might have reminded us out of kindness. That's right. In the past, I thought it was Willow who was rejected by GK. Now that I think about it, maybe Willow knew about GK's problem and she was the one who rejected GK. That's right. If there really was a problem with GK from the beginning, then Willow is really too pitiful. She was criticized by the brand and even stepped on by Sandra. For a moment, everyone remembered what had happened. Only then did they realize that certain things seemed to have been destined. After GK's lipsticks were investigated, the relevant departments quickly released a report. The products in batch 2 trillion 19 billion 787 million 262,626 of GK's lipstick production have been tested. It's found that the amount of heavy metals has seriously exceeded the standard. Not only will the products cause allergies, redness, and itchiness, but they can even cause problems with internal organs. The problem was discovered through the test. GK has been ordered to retrieve this batch of products. All unsold products will be taken off the shelves and destroyed. For the losses caused to consumers who have already bought the lipsticks, GK will provide compensation accordingly. GK will bear all the losses and treatment fees. The official announcement came quickly and seriously. GK's lipsticks were taken off the shelves, and consumers also began to return them. Initially, it was just a matter of GK's lipsticks, but GK's other makeup and skincare products were also experiencing slow sales. When many people saw the name, GK, they could not help but feel the fear of getting an allergic reaction. Forget it, forget it. I'll buy something else just to be safe. Logan knew that there was a problem with the products, but he did not report it to the headquarters in time, causing such a serious problem. He was quickly suspended. As for Rowan, he had already done everything he needed to do. It was just that his boss didn't listen at all. The French headquarters wanted to reward him and let him deal with the follow-up problems of this matter. However, they realized that he had already resigned, so they could only forget about it. 
GK's lipstick suffered a setback. The nature behind Sandra's endorsement deal was also discovered by the headquarters. She sure had many tricks up her sleeve. Her secret relationship with Logan was exposed by her other colleagues. It was obvious that Sandra could no longer be GK's spokesperson. Even if they did not fire her, her reputation would fall with GK's failure this time. Previously, her fans said that Willow and Top World were peas of the same pod. But I think Sandra and GK are the nasty ones. Now when I think of Sandra, I think of allergies. I'm about to have a phobia of Sandra. Me too. When I think of Sandra, I feel terrified. My skin isn't good to begin with. Please don't say Sandra's name anymore. I'm afraid I'll have an allergic reaction after hearing it. Everyone says that Top World's lipsticks are really good. My mother said that she has been using Top World's products since she was young. Nowadays, domestic products are really conscientious. That's right. If you spend so much money on something, don't you want to feel at ease? We'll always support conscientious products. Just like how Willow won Sandra, Top World also won GK. The cooperation between the two parties resulted in a win-win strategy. Because of this, Rowan asked Willow and Chris out for a meal. Chris joked over the phone, Director Cooper, if we're very close in private, will it affect your reputation in the company? Mr. Hunt, you're really good at joking. Who in the company doesn't know that I have a discerning eye and chose to sign Miss Presgrave? I'm treating you to a meal at the public's request. The company is even afraid that I won't be able to treat you to a meal. Rowan's voice was very hearty. All the anger and frustrations he had experienced in GK were forgotten now. H was greatly valued by Top World. Those outside discussions could not affect him at all. Chapter 2186 Rowan booked a private room in a restaurant and sent the address to Chris and Willow. On the way there, Chris was very curious. Sister-in-law, how did you detect the heavy metals in GK's lipsticks? I used a tool to detect it. Really? It's that simple. Chris didn't believe it. Yes. When I was in school, I was good at chemistry. Chris smiled and did not probe further. When they arrived, the two of them entered a private room under the guidance of the restaurant manager. Rowan had already arrived. When he saw the two of them, he greeted them even more familiarly. After the three of them exchanged pleasantries and sat down, Rowan said, Miss Presgrave, the company plans to let you endorse all its products. I wonder if you're interested. Willow glanced at Chris, who immediately said, it depends on the quality of your company's products and the benefits they can offer. Willow had just made a comeback. It was already good enough for her to get such an endorsement. However, Chris had always believed that not only could Willow reach this step, but her future would also be limitless. What she could get in the future would be far better than Top World. Rowan was very sincere. You're welcome to raise questions on the quality of the products at any time. If there's really a problem, we'll take them off the shelves immediately and change them at any time. As for the benefits, he gave a very good price and promised that in the future, Willow would be the only spokesperson for all Top World's products. No one could snatch her title. Chris was indeed tempted by such sincere treatment. Willow also nodded at him gently. The endorsement fee was not what Willow valued the most. What she valued the most was the quality requirements of the brand's products. This was the key to a win-win cooperation between the two sides. Since Chris and Willow were both interested, the next step was to discuss the details of the cooperation. Willow stood up and said, please excuse me. She walked out and received a call. Little Daniel called her as he missed her. He asked her when she was coming home. After comforting little Daniel over the phone, Willow put away her cell phone. She was about to enter the private room again when she saw Cody drunkenly walking over. The batch of clothes that Cody was in charge of last time was sniped by Willow halfway, causing the cost of the clothes to be several times higher than before. Even the brand had to be returned to Willow. Ever since then, Cody had been dispirited. Honey could still rely on Drake to minimize this loss. Cody had no one to back him up. He hated Willow and Roxanne to the core. However, he usually could not come into contact with Willow at all. 
There was no way for him to vent his anger on her. As he walked drunkenly, he said into the phone, you said Roxanne is over there. Got it. When Willow heard Roxanne's name, she couldn't help but take a few more glances at Cody. From his tone, he wasn't actually drunk. Instead of saying that he was drunk, it was more accurate to say that he was sloppy. Cody turned around and walked in a certain direction. Willow followed him. Ever since Roxanne opened the clothing studio with Willow, she began working on the development of fabrics. Her career was also starting to grow. Today, she was accompanying the designer to meet a client. During the meal, they had to drink. Fortunately, they were all decent people, so they didn't drink much. Although Roxanne was not drunk, she was somewhat intoxicated. After sending off the client and designer, she waited for the taxi she had booked out on the road. At this moment, it was getting late. This restaurant was located in a quiet location, and there were very few pedestrians on the road outside. Roxanne was waiting when a man suddenly pounced on her and pressed her down. The sudden crisis shocked Roxanne, but the alcohol in her system and the huge physical difference between man and woman made it impossible for her to break free from the other party's suppression. Just as she was about to open her mouth to cry for help, the other party covered her mouth and nose tightly. He pressed her down even harder. Roxanne hit the other party desperately, trying to escape. However, she was too weak to break free. Just as she was struggling, someone came over and kicked the man hard, knocking him aside. Roxanne got up in a hurry and saw that the person who came to help her was Willow. Meanwhile, the person who wanted to harm her was Cody. Willow. Roxanne held Willow's arm. Her entire body was still trembling, and she could not calm down. It's okay, it's okay, Willow comforted her and patted her shoulder. Cody also got up and looked at the two of them with a sinister smile. Willow, it's you again. It's me. Do you think the security in Sea City isn't good enough, or are the legal measures not strict enough? How dare you lay a hand on a woman here? Cody had suffered at the hands of Willow and Roxanne once before. He spat out, very well then. I'll remember this. Cody, I've already called the police. You won't be able to escape the law every time. When Cody heard Willow's words, he was not afraid. He chuckled and said, report it. That's nothing. Anyway, I used to work with Roxanne. When the police come, I'll say that we're acquainted. What's there to be afraid of? Roxanne was furious. How dare you? No wonder Cody dared to bully her fearlessly. It turned out that he had already thought of a countermeasure. Such a man was really disgusting. Willow removed Roxanne's hand from hers and walked toward Cody step by step. Roxanne was afraid that she would suffer, so she quickly said, Willow, don't go over. He's a bad man. Willow was not afraid. She walked straight to Cody's side and said in a low voice, I know you're arrogant, but soon, you might not have the right to be arrogant. Cody didn't know why Willow would say that to him, but he wasn't worried at all. Willow, mind your own business. After saying that, Willow turned around and walked to Roxanne's side. Roxanne, let's go. Okay. Roxanne was still frightened. Even when she and Willow got into the car, she was still a little shocked. She said worriedly, I really didn't expect Cody to be so arrogant. He always uses such disgusting methods to deal with me. Don't worry. Go back and have a good rest. I'll settle this. Such things won't happen again. Chapter 2187. Mark Connor, Ruka Waltz, Francis Lewis, and the others led the way and brought the Five Elements Academy's disciplinary elder to the front. It was said that the disciplinary elder of the Five Elements Academy was a fair and strict person. He did everything according to the rules and had never shown favoritism. He had never been especially generous to anyone and was famous for being strict in the academy. The students from this special class are really good. You've only been in the academy for less than two days, but you dare to gather and cause trouble. Do you think that you can do whatever you want just because Feng Xiu is your mentor? Or do you think that you're all proud children of heaven and that the academy won't dare to do anything to you? Disciplinary elder, it's not like that. We didn't gather to cause trouble. We came to the yellow class to look for Jennifer Trump to get the antidote. 
A few disciples in our special class had a quarrel with Jennifer in the library. When they returned from the library, their entire bodies were itching, so we suspected that Jennifer had poisoned them, so we came to look for her to ask for an explanation. Sang Ruoxin explained the ins and outs of the matter briefly, but it was perfunctory. She only talked about Jennifer, but she did not say how they acted. At this moment, the old man who had not spoken suddenly said, Sai, the temperament and character of the younger generation nowadays are really bad. Their ability to lie through their teeth is top-notch, their ability to scold others is top-notch, and their ability to act in front of others and behind others is also top-notch. You uneducated younger generation, a group of you came here aggressively. Not only did you destroy so much public property, but you also kept saying dirty words and insulting others. You're really uneducated. Such a person can still enter the special class. It looks like that so-called special class is really not good. Only then did the people from the special class turn their attention to the slovenly clothed elder and whisper, isn't this the old guy drinking outside the library? Yes, it's him. I heard that he's in charge of cleaning the courtyard outside the library. What is an old man who sweeps the floor doing in the yellow class? Just as the people from the special class were discussing the old man, the disciplinary elder said politely, why are you in the mood to come to the yellow class for a walk today? I like her, okay. Let me tell you, this girl will be under my protection in the future. Whoever dares to bully my girl, I'll teach them a lesson. You're protecting this girl, the elder asked in shock. He even sized up Jennifer suspiciously, as if he wanted to find an answer from her. The elder who was drinking pulled Jennifer over and held her arm as he said, If I don't protect my girl, who should I protect? Let's do business today. These uneducated juniors from the special class came to the yellow class to cause trouble and even destroyed public property. According to the rules of the Five Elements Academy, I believe you know better than anyone what kind of punishment they will receive. Also, they said that the girl poisoned them, but they didn't have any evidence. Just based on a suspicion, they came to denounce us. What do you think we should do about this? Well, I don't care what you do, but you have to do it well. I don't want you to be biased. You just have to follow the rules. This should be very easy for you. All right, I'll definitely do this according to the rules. Those who make mistakes will be punished. As for poisoning, if there's no real evidence to prove that Jennifer poisoned them, then we can't convict her in the name of poison. The moment the disciplinary elder said that, everyone in the special class was stunned. What was going on? He was just an old fellow who swept the floor and did chores. Why was the disciplinary elder giving him so much face? Who was he? Not only were the others puzzled, but even Jennifer was no exception. Chapter 2188. Hello, Joshua. Hello, Aunt Karen. Joshua greeted her with a calm expression. It was rare for him to let go of his arrogance and speak to others with respect. Aunt Karen, although you've never seen Joshua before, you should have heard of him. Joshua is the one who arranged for the bodyguards outside the door. I see. Thank you so much. Karen already knew that it was not easy for her to get this kidney transplant. She originally did not want Willow to spend any effort on her, but when she found out the truth, Willow had already resolved everything. There were naturally people who came to cause trouble midway. When Karen heard that there were bodyguards guarding outside, she vaguely knew that there was someone behind Willow who could protect her. Now that she saw the man in front of her, Karen couldn't help but nod secretly. It's what I should do. Joshua nodded. Karen understood and carefully observed Joshua's every move. Aunt Karen, it's getting late. Let's go have lunch first, Willow suggested. Okay. Karen nodded. Joshua came forward to pick up Karen's packed luggage. When he walked out of the ward, the person he had arranged to go through the discharge procedures had also arrived and handed the various documents to him. He took them and checked that there were no mistakes before giving them to Karen. Aunt Karen, you might need this information in the future. Karen took the information and put it away. The three of them left the hospital together. Joshua chose a very quiet restaurant so that they did not have to worry about being disturbed. 
At this moment, Karen slowly asked, So, Willow, you and Joshua, were already married. Willow did not hide it from Karen. Many things had been discussed with Karen, but there were some details that she had yet to tell her. But I heard that the person you married is, Karen was a little surprised. It's me, Aunt Karen, Joshua said calmly as he poured tea for Willow and Karen. I was the one who was engaged to Willow, and I'm also the one who has married Willow. So Aunt Karen, you don't have to worry. Karen put away her surprise and was relieved. From the moment Joshua appeared, she had been sizing him up. Although he had an extraordinary status, his attitude was gentle and humble in front of Willow. No matter what, he paid attention to Willow's every move. It was obvious that he cared about Willow. She recalled how Willow had been facing troubles with her career lately, but she was able to overcome them each time. She knew that Joshua treated Willow well and was a good match for her. Compared to Drake back then, Karen felt much more assured about this young man in front of her. She believed that she had not misjudged him. She smiled and said, in that case, I don't have to worry. Joshua, I don't have any other wishes. I just hope that Willow can live well in the future. If the two of you can be harmonious and happy together, I won't have any regrets. Aunt Karen, don't worry. Willow and I will definitely be fine. After Sue. Joshua finished speaking, he tilted his head and glanced at Willow. He could see the gentleness in her eyes. He reached out and placed his hand on the back of her hand to cover her palm. Willow lowered her eyes in embarrassment as they were in front of Karen, but she did not withdraw her hand. Karen smiled as she picked up the teacup and slowly drank from it. She looked very satisfied with what she saw. Aunt Karen, you haven't seen Willow in a long time. Since you've been discharged, why don't you stay with Willow for a while? Joshua said. Willow knew that he had always been busy, but he was able to consider this. He was indeed very attentive. She looked up at Karen. Karen shook her head. Forget it. I haven't been back home in a long time. Although there's nothing at home, I still wish to go back. Since I could recover successfully this time, I plan to go back and continue living there. I'll just come over to visit you from time to time in the future. Aunt Karen, are you really going back immediately? Willow was a little disappointed. Silly child. Seeing that you're fine now, I no longer have any regrets. I can go back in peace. There's nothing bad about it. Willow knew that Aunt Karen would be very determined once she made a decision. Since she had already made a decision, nothing could be changed. After lunch, Willow decided to send Karen back. I'm free too. Let's go together, Joshua said. He was about to drive when Brian rushed over. Mr. Miller, your meeting in the afternoon will be. Why'd I suddenly have a meeting in the afternoon? Joshua glanced at him. Brian took the hint and scratched his head. Oh, I remembered wrongly. Willow smiled. It seemed that Joshua would indeed be taking time off to send Karen back. Karen could also tell that he really cared about Willow. Thinking of how Willow had not been cherished all these years but there was finally someone to cherish her now, she laughed. After laughing, Karen lowered her voice and asked, will it really not delay his matters? If he says it won't, it won't. In that case, Karen would not reject his kindness. The countryside where Karen lived was not far from Sea City. The two-hour drive was quickly over. Although Karen had not come back for a long time, Willow had asked the aunt next door to come over often to clean the house. Thus, the house was clean. Willow settled Karen down and unpacked everything she needed before saying goodbye to her. On the way back, Willow's eyes were a little red. Joshua clasped her fingers and caressed them gently. It's okay. It's not the first time I've left. I've already said goodbye to Aunt Karen. Willow quickly adjusted her emotions. Yes, we'll come back together when we're free next time. Willow smiled. Did you skip an important meeting to come back together with us? Joshua tightened his grip on her hand. No meeting was that important. Comma. The matter of Willow endorsing all of Top World's products was announced after it was confirmed. Some time ago, because of the matter with Top World and GK, Willow's reputation and popularity increased greatly. 
After this official announcement, Top World and Willow were in a definite win-win situation. Willow's fans were also very satisfied. The only person who was dissatisfied was probably Vanessa, Top World's other spokesperson. Vanessa Bell was originally the spokesperson for Top World's facial masks. She had been the spokesperson for the past few years. She originally thought that in a few years, she would be able to become Top World's only spokesperson. However, as soon as Willow appeared, she took away the spokesperson position for all products. As for her position as the spokesperson for Top World's facial masks, well that was obvious. Looking at the official Weibo post, Vanessa gripped her cell phone with an unhappy expression. Chapter 2189. How would I know what method she used? Vanessa said coldly. Top World has gone overboard. In the past few years, you've been endorsing the brand's facial masks. The facial masks have always sold well, and the brand's reputation has always been good. They agreed to give you the title of spokesperson for all the company's brands when the time came, but now, they've silently given it to Willow. What's going on? Vanessa was indeed uncomfortable because of this. Being a spokesperson for a line of products was completely different from being a spokesperson for the entire company. It would have been fine if the other party was outstanding and had good works. However, Willow did not have anything to show off now. She was just relying on the previous few catfights. Compared to her, Willow was nothing. Vanessa, come on. Let's do your makeup first, the makeup artist said as she walked over. Today, Top World announced that Willow would be the spokesperson for all the brands under the company. There would be a brand event tonight. Willow would definitely attend. Vanessa, the spokesperson for Top World's facial masks, was also invited. The two of them would be attending the event together, but their titles were completely different. Some people might not care, but Vanessa was going crazy over it. The assistant brought over the schedule and handed it to her. Vanessa, familiarize yourself with the schedule. Got it. Vanessa picked it up and glanced at it. When she saw something, her gaze was fixed on it. She then said to her assistant, come here. I have something to tell you, but get the makeup artist to leave first. Comma. Willow was also starting to prepare for today's event. This was the first event that Willow booked after winning the title of spokesperson after her comeback. Chris and Tiffany both took it seriously. Willow had always valued her work, so she came over in advance to put on makeup. Tiffany checked her clothes, accessories, and even handbag. I know. Today is Top World's special event, so the skincare products and cosmetics I'm using on Willow can't have the logos of other brands. The makeup artist was also very knowledgeable. Don't worry, I know this. However, every artiste's skin was different, and the skincare products they usually used were also different. It was impossible for them to change everything just because of one endorsement. Of course, the brand also understood this logic, so the artists weren't asked to use its products in private. However, celebrities had to cooperate when it came to big events. This was part of professional ethics. Therefore, every time there was an event, the assistants of various companies would check in advance to make sure that there was no problem. Okay, no problem. Tiffany finished checking again and made an, okay, gesture. When everything was done, it was almost time to go on stage. Willow walked out. At this moment, Vanessa came out of the dressing room and walked toward Willow. When she passed by Willow, she stopped in her tracks. Congratulations, Willow. Congratulations on what? Congratulations on becoming Top World's spokesperson. Oh, I really didn't expect you to go from being the spokesperson for the brand's lipsticks to the all-around spokesperson so quickly. Your work hasn't even been released yet, but you've already gotten this far. I really envy you for having a good company and a good marketing team. Vanessa congratulated her, but there wasn't much joy in her words. Willow could hear her bitter tone. After all, it was too obvious. I'm also quite envious of you for being able to become the spokesperson for Top World's facial masks, Willow retorted. She meant that with Vanessa's qualifications, she wouldn't even have been able to get this endorsement deal if she didn't have a good company and a good marketing team. 
After saying that, Willow turned around and left without giving Vanessa a chance to argue back. Vanessa clenched her fists but had no choice but to watch Willow leave. It was already time for the event. The MC was introducing the products and spokespersons. Below the stage, the invited guests and some fans were already waiting. The MC said loudly, let's welcome the brand spokespersons, Willow and Vanessa. Willow appeared, followed by Vanessa. The MC began to host, mainly talking about Top World's products and carrying out the game segments. As Willow was the main spokesperson, this was her home ground today. Most of the people below the stage were her fans. The MC kept mentioning Willow, while Vanessa stood on the stage like a backdrop. Willow seemed to be standing in the spotlight, receiving everyone's attention. Everything seemed to revolve around her. All right, this event is coming to an end. Now, we're going to select 10 lucky audience members and gift them 10 of Top World's products, the MC said. Hearing the MC's words, the audience erupted into applause and cheers. Five of these ten gifts will be given by Willow, and the other five will be given by Vanessa. What's even rarer is that the gifts were all personally packaged backstage. Hearing the MC's words, everyone was even more excited. The fans who were here were all loyal fans. Being able to get a gift was already a pleasant surprise. Moreover, the gifts were personally packaged by their idols, so this surprise was even greater. Everyone waved their hands, wanting to receive what their idols had personally packaged. All right, Willow and Vanessa will press the button and select 10 numbers. The lucky ones with the same number on their hand signs can come up on stage to receive the gifts. Did anyone throw away their hand signs after entering the venue? The MC teased with a smile. The sign was equivalent to an admission ticket. Only with this could one enter. Hearing his words, everyone collectively replied, of course not. All right, then let's start the selection. Willow, press the button. Willow pressed the button and selected five numbers. Vanessa also followed the procedure and pressed the button to decide on five numbers. Ten lucky people appeared with excited expressions. All right, Willow and Vanessa will personally give the gifts they had packaged to the lucky ones. Willow gave her five gifts to her fans and said in a low voice, thank you. Although she was usually cold, she knew that her fans' sincerity was something special and rare, so she solemnly expressed her gratitude to them. Chapter 2190. The five fans screamed in excitement. Vanessa also gave out the gifts. The MC said a few more words and planned to get them off the stage. The event was about to end. At this moment, Vanessa said, aren't you curious about what's in your gifts? Why don't you open them at the event location? Other than the gifts, I also prepared gift cards that I personally signed. Hearing her words, the MC also felt that it was not a bad idea to open the gifts now. This event was to promote Top World. Opening the gift boxes for publicity would allow everyone to browse through the various products. He said, that's a good suggestion. Is anyone willing to open their gift box at the event location? The ten of them did not object. Everyone wanted to see what was inside. Willow frowned slightly and had a subtle premonition. She could already tell that Vanessa was dissatisfied with her today. Now that Vanessa asked to open the gift boxes at the event location, there must be something wrong with the gift boxes she had just given out. Just now, after wrapping the gift boxes, she handed them to Tiffany for safekeeping. But Tiffany did not carry the gift boxes with her at all times. Perhaps the gift boxes had been tampered with. Before Willow could finish thinking, someone at the event location had already opened their gift box. It was too late for Willow to stop them. The five gift boxes that Willow had given out were all opened. The lucky fans all held them up. Among the things were Top World's lipstick, skincare set, and makeup set. There was nothing else. Willow heaved a sigh of relief. Vanessa had been looking over. When she saw the things inside, she couldn't help but be stunned. Why were they all Top World's products? The MC smiled and said, whoa, how generous. Come, let's take a look at Vanessa's gifts. What's inside the gift boxes? Someone took the things out. In addition to Top World's makeup set, there was also a set of skincare products from another brand. 
Two of the gift boxes contained skincare products from other brands. Everyone below the stage saw it. The MC also saw that Vanessa's gift boxes contained skincare products from other brands. What kind of mistake was this? However, it was obvious that no matter what, it would have a bad impact on everyone. After all, today was Top World's event. Vanessa was stunned and did not know what to say. The MC quickly tried to smooth things over. Willow smiled and said, I have Top World skincare products in my bag. I'll give them to these two lucky fans who got the wrong gift boxes. She took out Top World skincare products from her bag and gave them to the fans. These fans just wanted to receive something that was personally handed over by their idols, they didn't care much about the items themselves. Hence, they accepted the products ecstatically. The scene was finally over, and the matter just now didn't attract much attention. However, the higher-ups sitting in the front row had all seen that scene earlier. They looked at each other and had their own considerations. With Willow's help, this matter did not spread on a large scale. After leaving the stage, Willow quickly walked backstage. Little Tiffany, do you know what happened to Vanessa just now? I don't. Tiffany quickly shook her head. She was helping to take photos just now and saw what had happened. When she saw the lucky fans take out skincare sets from other brands from Vanessa's gift boxes, she was shocked. Willow guessed that Vanessa had planned to put those things in her gift boxes, but for some reason, a twist happened. Tiffany lowered her voice and asked, since we didn't do it, did Vanessa make a mistake? Is she that stupid? Maybe, Willow said calmly. As soon as she finished speaking, she received a WeChat message on her phone. Joshua said, I came backstage to see you just now and saw Vanessa's men sneakily touching your gift boxes. Time was tight, so I didn't have time to do anything. I got someone to swap them. Willow knew that things were not that simple. If it weren't for Joshua, she, the main spokesperson, would have been the one who was embarrassed in public. The impact was not something Vanessa, a small brand spokesperson, could imagine. Willow, so you're here. I was wondering why today's incident was so coincidental. Willow, many higher-ups came today. They must be investigating this matter. Joshua, no matter what, it has nothing to do with you. Vanessa has no chance to bite back. No one will believe that you'll do such harmful things when you're already the main spokesperson. Willow, yes, the perpetrator will suffer from the consequences sooner or later. Joshua, I'll wait for you here. Judging from the location he sent, he was in a special parking space in the underground parking lot. Little Tiffany, go back first. A friend will be picking me up, Willow said. Tonight's matter was probably not that simple, so Tiffany said, Sister Willow, I'll be more careful in the future. Yes, even though we don't have the intention to harm others, we still have to be wary of others. Willow only said this sentence before turning to go to the parking lot. She quickly found Joshua's car and got in. He was on a work call and had a serious expression on his face. He looked cold and distant as if he could never be approached. Seeing that Willow had gotten in, he paused for half a second and glanced at her. His gaze instantly softened. Seeing Willow sit down, his expression changed as he got back to work. He didn't put away his cell phone until the call ended. Fortunately, you came in time tonight. Willow sighed softly. Even if I hadn't come, I believe you would have had a way to deal with it, Joshua said. Your assistant still needs to be trained. Little Tiffany is a good person, and it's not easy for her. Let's give her some time to grow. Joshua laughed. I naturally have no objections to the person you think highly of. I'm just afraid that you'll ask her to leave. If you make that request, it won't be good for me to agree. I won't do anything to make things difficult for you, Joshua said calmly and looked into Willow's eyes. Comma. Willow did not know how Top World's investigation of Vanessa went. However, three days later, Vanessa's photos were removed from Top World's official website, and one couldn't find any information about her endorsement. Most of her photos in the physical stores were also taken down. After the new facial masks were released, the marketing team used Willow's photos.
In other words, although what happened that night did not explode on a large scale, it still brought indelible consequences to Vanessa. She wanted the title of main spokesperson, but she couldn't even keep her existing title. The saying that greed meant failure came true for her. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.